Hi, I'm Toshihiro Kikuchi from Exalt Japan. Today's paint defect topic is cratering. Cratering or fish haze is a defect that occurs when your wet paint comes into contact with airborne or surface contaminants. Food surface tension is different from your paint. The difference in surface tension prevents film from forming correctly resulting in shallow craters or dimple in the paint film. One common cause of cratering are silicones that are present in rubbing compounds, waxes, cleaners, cushion poots, and protectant used in the shop. You'll be surprised that even personal effects like wristband and hair styling product could be possible sources of contaminants that can cause cratering. Other possible causes for cratering will be oil from your compressed air supply, which eventually gets sprayed out together with your paint. Oil is also present in engine exhaust film that can also cause cratering. It can even be that your spray boost and air intake is being affected by external influences in your local environment and pools in contaminants from places such as kitchen extra fans. And my last point here is that you need to pay attention to spray gun cleaning as poor quality or contaminated solvents can leave unwanted residues behind. To avoid cratering, always properly clean your substrate with good quality silicone removers or degreasers and clean. Rinse free wipes or cloth. Do not allow cleaning solvents to evaporate. They must be removed whilst wet with a separate cloth. It is recommended that polishing, car washing, and detailing activities are done in an area far from your painting area. Properly maintain your spray booth so that it generates a positive pressure from the inside to push contaminants outwards rather than driving these contaminants in. Personnel who have handled silicone containing chemicals should properly clean themselves and change their tire before they start painting. Ideally, these personnel should not be handling or applying paint. Also note that cars entering the shop may also bring in these contaminants. Thoroughly clean pads and panels before starting the repair process. We should also regularly drain air tanks, oil and water separators to avoid cratering. Applying priming concept like goose necks, pipe ink lines, and fluid traps will also help prevent cratering. Lastly, we should install and properly maintain air filters or oil and water separators at strategic locations around our airlines. Best practice is to use a three-stage air separator or filter in your bus, particularly if using waterborne products. Now, what you need to be very careful with is the use of anti-silicon additives. These additives contain silicon and are designed to help flow out on the surface and compensate for the surface tension problem as I described earlier. The problem is that urban use can actually contaminate your spraying environment, making what was a small problem grow much larger. I would pay attention to the prevention measures before using such an additive. If cratering occurs, allow the paint film to completely dry. Whenever possible, clean the affected area with a suitable degreaser before starting the repair. Sound the paint film to make the surface even. Make sure to clean the surface properly before reapplying the paint. Depending on how severe the issue is, it may be that you need to reapply the undercoat before your color and clear coat. I hope you found this video useful and make sure you check out 
as the excerpt videos for the proper use of our product. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time with one of my excerpt colleagues from around the world in our paint defect video series.